Hey everyone, uh, welcome to a new video. So in this video, we are going to discuss how to install and configure the AWS Toolkit for VS Code. So in the earlier video, we have already uh, discussed that how we can install the AWS Toolkit for uh, Visual Studio and uh, how we can use it. And today, uh, we are going to discuss how it do with the VS Code. On this image, you can see that uh, the AWS Toolkit is installed and uh, here in the extensions, the AWS Toolkit is there. So onto that we can develop or deploy the our uh, aws uh, services into in in the vs code itself so, so open your vs code and uh, currently you can see that we don't have uh, the extension of uh, aws toolkit here so go to the extension and let's search here for aws toolkit and uh, click here the install so once it installed then we can see one extension is come for aws so let's get installed and uh, we can get the icon here so you can see that now the aws uh, toolkit has been uh, installed in our machine so here the aws icon is there here you can see that it is asking for the select a connection so we need to have connect to our aws credentials so that we can access all the here in vs code itself so let's understand why the AWS toolkit is used in VS Code and what the benefits of that. So the AWS toolkit for VS Code or Visual Studio Code, it is an open source plugin. So that simplifies the application creation of the step-by-step -step, uh, of the debugging and deploying and the building for the serverless applications. And uh, if you can say for the benefits of that, so we can get the uh, started quickly with built-in project templates that use the AWS serverless applications model to specify and the configure the resources and also that the toolkit is uh, also provided an integrated experience by the step-by-step -step debugging serverless apps or aws sam cli so let's understand that how we can get the aws access key and secret key for login to this so you can see that when we click it so you can see that there is two options one is the workforce that is uh, to do sign in to aws with single sign-in or we can do for the IAM credentials and store the keys for use with AWS CLI tools. So for this demo, we are going to sign in through the IAM credentials. So let's create a AWS IAM user and obtain the access key and password to sign in here. So flip to your AWS console and here uh, you can see that I have choose identity access management or you can just go to your AWS panel and click on i am so you will reach that on the user group so click on the users so uh, i have already uh, created this user for my use but let's create a, a new user for uh, our demo and we'll see that how we can authenticate it on the vs code itself like zt yt hyphen one then click on the next so on the set permission section, so we should uh, click on the attach policy directly. And here we need to have the three policies we need to add. One is access analyzer service that is on the top. And another is administrator access. And another is I am self manage service. So these three services I have uh, choose and click on the next and let's create user so you can see that the user has been created so let's click here and here is mentioned as the create access key so we need to click here and uh, there is the multiple options that whether we want to use like the third party services or uh, application running the outside of AWS everything but we just want to the run into the command line interface so I just click here the use case and confirmations and click next and the description tag value so let's I'll do that the same name jtyt1 and create the access key so you can see that the access key and the access value has been already created 
so let's copy this and go to his code and click on the im credentials and click on continue and here i put the access key and let's copy the secret access key secret key i have pasted and let's provide that name zt yt1 and click and continue so you can see that now it's connecting to im credentials so you can see that now the aws connection has been made and whatever in our aws console so if you have created like the s3 bucket or any amp lambda or anything then that will become here so let's go to the aws panel and uh, let's create a simple lambda so let's create here a lambda so what is lambda and why it is used and everything so in the next video might be uh, i will create a video from scratch where you can see that so let's create a function so for this video we are creating a simple lambda functions and we just verify that uh, if the lambda function is created here so it, the same is reflect in the vs code my function one and let's i'm doing for the csap.net and the architecture whatever the default i don't touch it so let's create a function so now the lambda function is ready so we can test it so you can see that there is a hello world is here and just test it to click on the test you can see that it execute succeeded so in the details you can see that in the body it is sending as a hello from lambda and status code at 200 so in the upcoming video we'll discuss that more why the lambda is used and what the benefits of that so let's verify that in the vs code so this lambda like uh, i have name as my function hyphen one so is that reflect or not so go to your vs code and just refresh it so in the lambda six inch so you can see that the my function one is here so you can see that there is a multiple options that we can manage here so like the same way like uh, whether the whether if it is ECS or ECR or any cloud watch logs and everything so we can verify that so you can just see that whatever I create in the lambda functions right my function so that is on the cloud watch logs so on the logs it is already there so everything whatever you create on the your AWS console so that should be come here so that it will be easy to manage and debug uh, in your VS code itself so that's it for this video i hope it will help you to understand that how we can do uh, access the aws toolkit and how to use for the vs code thanks for watching see you on the next video